Okay, so one of the things I think is interesting, and people ask me this all the time, how do I get more than one thing working on parallels? So I just have the regular parallels desktop, right? It's like nothing special here. It's just the regular kind, the app store edition. So nothing special here, right? It's just whatever came in the box kind of thing. But one of the things you can do is you can have more than one of these running at a time and have different versions of it all the way around the world's way around. So how do you get this? You just go file, you go new, and it will give you that opportunity. So I like I need to come up with a Windows 11 one. So I know I need to do that. Um, install Windows, Linux or Mac from an image file, or you can just go ahead and download any one of the free systems that they've got. I think it's kind of cool because you can also just download Android here. So if I wanted to do Android development, this would be perfect for me. You can actually go in and check and see if you want to open up a particular file and select this is my Windows 10 folder. And if I had a PVM file that I got from someone else, I could just go ahead, drop it into downloads and go ahead and run it that way. So I could actually share this like I would share a container. But that's essentially how you do it. Um, I was actually really kind of surprised. So go to Parallels Your Desktop and you'll go File. If you've got more than one, you'll get this cool thing right here, right? And you can change how it looks, um, change the space it takes. It just depends on how you want to go, where you think it's super great for you. And then go File, New, and then pick whatever you want to have. And again, you know, I do need to get Windows 11 going at some point. So we'll just go ahead and download and install Windows 11. So I've got Windows 10 and I've got Ubuntu running today because I kind of wanted to get that thing up and going. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we'll download all this for me. Just make sure you've got enough disk space. Um, surprisingly huge on how big these things were. Um, so actually I'm really surprised by how big those things were. Um, but I'm just probably just going to go ahead and download this and get it going so you've kind of gotten can see um, how it will go. So we probably download again kind of cool f3 actually going i'm actually probably just going to go ahead and turn this guy off so i've got it so it goes 99 and then just go ahead and i don't want to like stress out my computer too bad <laughs> running more than one system on um, the other thing too is again you can always run through your windows you can edit or insert um, and then you can also free up disk space which is kind of a neat thing as well um, so while we're waiting on that, and free up disk space is another thing. So you can actually go in and see how much extra space it's actually taking. So like my Windows 10 is taking almost 70 gigs on my hard drive. So again, make sure you've got um, a lot of good space on that. Sometimes you can free stuff up, um, kind of set it up so you can. So what, I would save me 10 gigs um, if I need it, then I've got it kind of thing. But so that free up space, again, is on a file free up disk space. So hopefully you guys get to do that. And we'll go ahead and validate my data, validate what we're doing. Go ahead and install it. Start it up. And again, you can drag this thing to be whatever size you need it to be once it all gets up and running. You can hear my computer starting to work. <laughs> Pretty funny. And then you just run through setup. I have no idea how long this will take. I haven't installed Windows 11 yet, so um, just kind of interesting. The only reason why I figured this out is because I want to do a bunch of stuff. I want to do some programming. Or I kind of needed to do some other things. But yeah, no, so this is just the standard setup from here. Um, no big surprise on anything like that. So that's basically it. This is how you set up to run uh, multiple versions of it. So again, I just I have the regular one, nothing special, right? So we can just go to Control Center, um, Parallels Desktop. Again, nothing special. File, New, and then pick out whichever one you want, and go from there. All right, that's it. That's how you do it. All right, folks. Thanks for staying around. Have fun with it. Talk to you later.